The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today we're going to take a look at the fuel efficiency of the Evinrude ETEC G2 line of outboards. In 2014, Evinrude built upon its already efficient Evinrude ETEC engines when it launched the ETEC G2 engines. This time, engineers at Evinrude designed a brand new engine block specifically designed for direct injection. A new combustion chamber was designed in concert with professors at the University of Wisconsin. The result is an outboard as fuel efficient and often more so than any four-stroke outboards in their class. This is not a statement that boat test takes lightly. We can say that based on more than 40 tests we've conducted with Evinrude engines. Let's take a close look at three of those tests on three different types of boat, and you'll see what I mean. The three boats we've chosen to examine were all tested by boat test with Evinrude ETEC G2 300 horsepower outboards, and we're comparing those test numbers with the ones that the team at Yamaha recorded and published after they tested the identical models with Yamaha F300 engines. All of the test data is public information and appears either on the boat test website or Yamaha's website. We'll start with the Ranger 2510 a center console bay boat that is used in both salt and fresh water. We tested the boat powered with an ETEC G2 300 horsepower engine, and when we compared our test data with that of the Yamaha F300 provided by Yamaha, we see that the Evinrude rig gets more miles per gallon at 8 out of the 10 RPM settings recorded from 1,000 to 5,500 RPM. Evinrude's average improvement in fuel efficiency averaged one mile per gallon greater for the entire range in this comparison. As you can see, in this specific boat in comparison, the Evinrude engine is more fuel efficient at most RPM settings. And note that the ETEC G2 engine is remarkably more fuel efficient at a trolling speed setting of 1000 RPM. When trolling for hours at 6 to 8 miles per hour, the ETEC G2 technology shows a dramatic improvement over the fuel consumption of the four-stroke Yamaha. Over the course of a long summer, this can add up to big fuel savings. In the critical cruising range from 3000 to 4500 RPM, the Evinrude engine was more efficient at every setting. Now let's take a look at what happened when we tested a pontoon boat, the Premier 290 Grand Entertainer with the Evinrude ETEC G2 300. This is a large, heavy pontoon boat that requires lots of power to get it into the 50 mile per hour range, so this model comes powered by twin 300 horsepower engines. What we discovered when we compared our tests with Yamaha's test data is that the Evinrude ETEC G2 300 horsepower engines once again got better fuel economy at 7 of the 10 RPM settings. Overall, the twin Evinrude 300s averaged nearly half a mile more per gallon than the Yamaha-powered rig. In the critical cruising range from 3,000 to 4,500 RPM, the Evinrude engines were the same or more fuel efficient in all four settings. Pontoon boats were often used for slow evening cruises around the lake, running at 1,000 to 2,000 RPM. It's here that the test data shows that the Evinrude ETEC G2 300s are significantly more fuel efficient than the Yamaha engines. Finally, we compared an outboard-powered sport boat, one of the fastest growing segments in boating. We tested the Four Winds HD270 outboard, a large deck boat with lots of freeboard designed to pull wakeboarders and skiers. The Evinrude engine was more fuel efficient at 7 of the 10 RPM settings. Once again, when in slow evening lake cruise mode, the fuel savings are dramatic. And once again, in the RPM settings that most boaters will be running their sport boat, from 4,000 RPM and higher or faster than 30 miles per hour, the Evinrude G2300 is more fuel efficient. Now it's important to understand that test comparisons like these are never apples to apples, even when they're made in identical boats. There are dozens of variables that can affect fuel consumption on any given day, but we think the most important takeaway from these comparisons is the Evinrude ETEC G2 technology, such as the efficient combustion chamber design, a state-of-the-art direct fuel injection system, placement of the injectors near the spark plugs, low friction design, and many other elements all of which make the Evinrude engines one of the most fuel-efficient outboard engines on the market. But fuel efficiency isn't the only major feature of the ETEC G2 outboards. There are many other attributes, so be sure to see our other videos on them. For now, that's our look at fuel efficiency of the ETEC G2 lineup of outboards. For Boatest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.